Hello, today we're going to be talking about the dash cam and the cameras on the side of the Tesla Model 3 mid-range um, as far as the recording and the file system um, that records on the USB drive. So let's get into it. So if you have a USB thumb drive plugged into your car, you'll get this little icon at the top. Looks like a camera with a red dot. If you push on it for a couple seconds, it turns to grayed out. That means it's okay to remove your USB drive. And it's down here in the console. So I lift up, find my little USB ports down here. I have a little USB drive that's it's 32 gig. It's a little tiny one, so I like the small one because it doesn't take up too much room in the little cabinet if I want to store napkins. So anyway, let's take it inside, plug it in the computer, and look at the footage. Okay, so I plugged in the USB drive, so we'll click on the Tesla dash cam, side cam recordings, and you'll see the first folder we see is a Tesla cam folder. If we go inside that, there's two folders, the recent clips and saved clips. I think the saved clips are if the alarm goes off and they want to keep the footage, but we'll check out the recent clips. And I'm on a Mac, so you see some files just have icons. This, so they have three videos. They have the front, left, and right. So if I click on the front one, it kind of shows you the front camera right there. If I click on the left, let's show you the left side. And then the right side. There's all my groceries. Good stuff. See, it records everything. All right, so those are the three view angles of the new 2019.5.4. Uh, That's the update that I'm on. I've heard there's a new update out. This is the file system um, of how you look at your videos. So if you see anything, you can come in here and download them. And uh, yeah, that's it. I've noticed um, on some of my videos, there's a green line, um, like right there. If I click on them, um, you'll see that little green that appears at the bottom. I did not have that before the update, and I had it after the update, so I'm thinking I'm going to reformat my USB thumb drive and see if that fixes it. Um, it seems to kind of come and go, and it's only on the one camera, the uh, left side. So it's on some of them, but not all of them. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'll go out and test it again. I'll reformat my drive and do this recording, and we'll see if it gets rid of that green line. Okay, so I just reformatted my thumb drive, and I drove around the block, so we'll look at the USB thumb drive. Now there's only one recent clips because I just reformatted it so there is no saved clips because uh, alarm hasn't gone off or used sentry mode or anything like that so I drove around the block so we'll look in there and I don't see any green lines so we'll just take a quick look this is the front camera going around the block and then the left camera looks good that's the one that was having the green line and then the right camera. So these are the recordings while you're driving. So if anything happens, it'd be nice if we get the rear view camera. But until then, we'll take the side cameras and the front camera for security accidents. And you never know what. All right. So there you have it. That's the video footage and the uh, file system from the Tesla dash cam, the two side cameras. Hopefully in the future, we'll get the rear view camera. That'd be nice. So as long as you get a USB drive that... Um, it's formatted to FAT32, and you create a folder on there called Tesla Cam, capital T, capital C, uh, and plug it into your car. It will record um, all those three cameras as you drive and also during sentry mode. So that's pretty cool. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.